Hello and welcome back to CCR Community. Today Rob Kummer is going to do Junior Golf at Home. Hi everybody, thanks for joining me again for this week's Junior Golf at Home. I hope everybody had some really good success last week putting. Just as a quick review, we're getting in that quarterback stance. So balls in the middle of our stance, feet are a shoulder width, and we're bending over so our eyes are over the top of the ball. We're trying to make this putter go as straight back and straight through as possible, and it's a toe-to-toe -to -toe motion. Just as a reminder what that means when we get in that setup, that putter is going to move from one toe to the other toe, okay? So for today's uh, lesson, we're going to be doing chipping, and we're going to take that same exact principle we had before, but we're going to apply it to some different golf clubs and a different shot type. So for this, a lot of people like using either a pitching wedge or an 8-iron, okay? Pitching wedge has more loft on the golf club, so it will make the golf ball go a little higher. When we get into the 8-iron that has less loft, it's going to go a little bit lower to the ground and it's also going to roll a little bit more. So let's take a look here and we'll find out how we can hit these shots appropriately. Okay, so for this trip shot, I'm going to be starting out with an 8-iron. It's the easiest thing to do and what you're going to hear this referred to as is a bump and run. So what we're going to do, we're going to give the golf ball a little bump and it's going to run out to the hole. Okay, we're going to get in that same exact posture, that same exact grip we had before, and we're actually going to use the same exact swing. We're only going to be going toe to toe. So what you're going to see, eyes are still closer to the golf ball. I still have my good stance. Golf ball still in the middle, okay? All I'm going to do is take that putting swing toe to toe to hit that shot. What you're going to see is it's going to get a little bit of loft. It's going to go up in the air, but it's going to go on the ground. It's going to roll longer than something if we hit it much higher, okay? I have a few games that we're going to do uh, to help reinforce that, so come on over here and uh, join me with these two, and, and uh, we'll show you how to get it going here. Okay, so we have the basic posture, and we also have the basic swing. So again, posture, that quarterback stance, and then swing is going to be the exact same thing we learned with the putter, okay? That toe-to-toe -to -toe motion. And depending on how far we have to hit it, it might have to be a little bit longer of a swing. Perfectly fine. I would not swing this golf club higher than your knee, all right? If we have to use our bump and run and we have to go knee high, we might need to look at using a different golf club. But what we see with a lot of juniors when they start out with this shot is they hit the ball more in the equator in the middle and, and the golf ball is just going to roll on the ground it's not going to have that initial pop up and that height that we want so what you're going to do for this drill you're going to lay a towel on the ground and the whole object is to brush the grass get the leading edge of this golf club underneath that ball and what's going to happen it's going to pop up in there and it's going to go over top of the towel so if this is done incorrectly when the golf ball is hit, it's just going to roll across and it's going to roll over the towel. Not what we want to do. We want to hit that golf shot so it pops up and over the towel. So we're going to get in that good setup again, toe to toe. There we go. You see that was perfectly executed because I just got that little bit of lift. It went right over top and then it rolled out to my target. So all you're going to need again is the towel and make sure you hit that bump and run shot over top of the towel every single time. All right, for our uh, second drill we have today, I call it the in-between drill. And you may have noticed this is very similar to something we did last week with the putting. But again, this works so well, helping to hone in speed and which direction the golf ball is actually going, okay? Uh, at, like any uh, shot, we always want to hit it as close to the hole as possible but especially so with that chip shot, because we want to hit it within a distance we're comfortable making that putt, okay? So most of us, that's three feet or so. So what you're gonna do is have some type of uh, flag, or you can use a golf tee, anything to give yourself about a three foot circle, and you want to hit it in between. So what I used are two flags. This is my stick, or my flag stick for the hole. And then I have this arc behind. So my goal is to hit it in between the flags and my arc, okay? 
One other little piece we want to add in is where we want this golf ball to land on the putting green, okay? Because if we hit the ball to the hole, it's going to roll out past the hole. We want to hit the golf ball to a spot that will then roll out to the hole. So come on over here and join me. I'll hit a few shots. Again, I have my, my hit point and I have my target downrange. Again, my good setup, putt position. Gonna go toe to toe. As you can see, I hit it just past my uh, hit point on the green and then it rolled out to the target. I'll do that one more time. As you can see, I need to brush up my skills a little bit here too. I actually flew it a little bit past where I wanted to hit it to. And as you can see, my golf ball rolled out past my target. So just remember, if you hit the ball to the target, it will roll past the target, okay? You need to hit your golf ball to the spot on the green that's gonna release it to the hole. All right, thanks for joining me today. One thing I forgot to do last week uh, was to give the word of the day. So I always like leaving uh, another learning opportunity with the kids, um, learning a new word and something we can uh, help with ourselves and everybody else. So today's word is humility. So I encourage all the parents and adults at home, have a little talk about uh, humility with your kids. I guarantee that's gonna be a positive outcome going forward. Uh, again, I wanted to thank everybody for joining me with chipping today. Uh, please stay tuned. We're going to elaborate on this next week with some new skills. I hope everyone is well and healthy, and I'll see everybody next week. Thank you. Remember to stay tuned each and every Friday to Junior Golf at Home with Rob Kummer. Stay tuned to the club's Facebook website, emails, Instagram, this YouTube channel. Click below to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.